Yes, yes, my people. Big pros are back again, and you already know what it is now. We're talking sneakers, kicks, crepes, and today we've got another little review. Yes, we're looking at the Yeezy 350 V2 in the mono mist colorway. We're going to talk about everything. If you like that kind of thing, like the video, and let's jump into the unboxing. Okay, Yeezy 350 here, back again. You get me Yeezy Boost 350 made by Adidas. Flip that round as well. Box pretty standard, got a little sticker on the back for some reason. Standard stuff inside the box, ain't nothing crazy going on in there. And now we've had a little look at the box and obviously we've had a little look at how the shoe looks in hand. Let's find out how these bad boys look on feet. Okay, so I managed to cop these direct from Adidas Confirmed. So once again, shout out Adidas Confirmed. They've been nice to me on a lot of these drops. So yeah, big up Adidas Confirmed still. And I managed to cop these for 180 pounds, which is retail. Very, very minimal secondary market on these. Um, for some reason, even though they are sort of a, an updated version of the 350 V2, not really a huge amount of interest on the secondary market. So you might be able to pick these up if you really like them for a pretty decent price. Quickly, let's talk about sizing. And sizing on these have been pretty interesting because of the fact that they are not the standard prime net upper that we're used to on the 350 V2. So this is a bit of a different material. And obviously because it's a different material, it kind of fits in a different way. Um, so a lot of people are saying, go, go choose the size on this, that it fits a little bit big. And when you say fits a little bit big, it actually means it's closer to your actual size because for many people will realize that um, Yeezy is actually fit a little bit small in general. So the fact that these fit a little bit big means they just fit generally closer to your actual size. I would suggest you go either true to size or like I have, go a half a size up like you would normally do. Reason being is I found these a little bit, or I found the material on the top a little bit less stretchy than the normal material. And because of that, um, I felt that, you know what, I still needed a little bit of space. So it's kind of up to you, but either go half a size up or true to size, you should be pretty close. So let's talk about the look and design of the shoe. And before we get into the look and design, let's just talk about the reason why these shoes have come out. So if you don't know, this is actually a regional release and this is the, the, the EU version of this release. In the US, they actually got the ice version of the shoe, which is kind of like a blue, um, white kind of a, ice looking shoe in, in um, Asia and that part of the world they actually got the clay which is more of a uh, orange similar to this um, color inside here which is actually pretty fire um, so the mist was actually for the EU in the UK obviously it's a 350 v2 so it's got a lot of the regular 350 v2 things you get me tpu sidewalls exposed boost on the, on the mid so obviously a massive bit of boost on the midsole as well you've got your three straps at the back pull tabs are back which are live you get me but the main difference about the shoe is the upper the upper is not the standard prime net it is a mesh right and it's kind of like a nylon mesh um and although because it is a nylon mesh, it is a lot lighter. When I say a lot lighter, it is definitely lighter than a standard 350 V2. Um, on feet, it's not, it, it, it doesn't have as much give. So it's a little harder on feet. Underfoot is still the same. You still get that bounce, that sort of infamous, world famous bounce that you get from boot. The shoe is a little bit firmer. It's a little bit, tighter and obviously that's one of the reasons why you might want to go 
half a size up or go true to size if that's what you're feeling um the upper is also different because of this design and obviously you can see quite clearly when we hold it up to the light that there's also this kind of sort of inner skeleton that is exposed through the mesh which is pretty cool kind of reminds me shout out brad hall on uh, 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 uh who reviewed these on his channel and kind of uh, said that they kind of remind him of a butterfly wing which i get that's what that's exactly what i'm getting butterfly wings which is yeah, which is pretty cool which is pretty, especially when you get that pop of orange on the insole here just coming through um through these sort of gaps and it's pretty cool it's kind of interesting another thing that's interesting about the upper is you've got sort of eyelets um which obviously 350 v2s normally don't have they just kind of have a hole in the prime knit um and i think the reason why they have these is because obviously this is a mesh now and it's not as strong as a knit um and if you just went direct with the lace through the the mesh it might if you pull it hard enough it might actually rip so having the eyelets in there just sort of just gives that that extra uh, stability and strength um also the actual laces themselves are kind of made from a nylon as well or, or at least have a nylon overlay so they kind of have a little bit of a sheen and i don't know if you can hear this like the whole thing is a lot rougher than it normally would be you can like kind of hear it every bit of it is kind of like shiny and scratchy and yeah i don't know how i really feel about it if i'm being honest cop that stuff that you guys already know man this is where i tell you basically whether i cop the shoe as in whether i like the shoe i love the shoe i'm gonna keep it in the collection or whether i'd stop the shoe and i'd be like nah G, that's not for me and if i'm being completely honest this ain't for me as much as i love the 350 v2 yeah that is one of my favorite silhouettes one of my favorite shoes in life yeah in life yeah, and come at me if you want to come at me. One of the most popular shoes in the history of shoes in general. Yeah, this ain't it. This ain't it for me, right? I need that prime knit upper, man. I need this to come out. And to be fair, and to be fair to the mono, I feel like there's more that can be done with it. I feel like other colorways could probably make the shoe bang, but I feel like this nylon upper, this mesh upper ain't really doing it for me. And I'd need to see a really banging colorway for me to really say that this is the shoe that I'm trying to cop. So yeah, for me, it's a stop that. Let me know what you would think. Let me know what you would do in the comments below. Make sure to holler at me prozac on instagram and twitter very sociable obviously guys thank you so much for your time your energy your effort you clicking helping man out getting my subscribers up here yeah, and if you haven't subscribed make sure you go and subscribe if you've liked the video like the video hit the notification bell it really helps if you like sneaker chat make sure to go and check out kicks chronicles my sneaker podcast where we take a deep dive in a guest uh, sneaker history that's available on youtube obviously but if you like it in your ears, it's also on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and then basically everywhere you get podcasts. Once again, thank you for your time, people. And until I see you, man, down the roads, stay blessed.